Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name's Cole. Today's video is going to be slightly different. I need your help. Many of you will recognize this loader. It's uh, appeared on the channel several times. It is a 1998 Swinger 3000 wheel loader. I absolutely love it. It is the perfect size for me. It's about 10,000 pounds. It's got a John Deere engine, Eaton hydraulics, Dana 80 axles. I really, really do like this machine. Now it nearly killed me back in October when the hydraulic pump, the hydrostatic pump went full reverse, got stuck there, just about drove me off a road with a five foot shoulder and flipped the machine. Luckily that did not happen. I was able to get it out. I backed it up to here where it sits and it's turned into a saga. I'll give you some backstory, but ultimately I am looking for one of you or a bunch of you to help me out because I need to find a path forward for this. Needless to say, I'm a little choked because I've finally gotten word the pump grenaded itself. I thought I just had a control issue, but apparently all the rotating assemblies are shot. It's not worth repairing. And unfortunately, I just found out what a new slash reman unit is going to be for this. They tracked one down and it's $22,000. I paid 15 grand for the machine. I got to figure out a different way. Back in October, that incident happened. If, uh, if you've been following the channel, you'll probably remember when I ripped the pump out of this the same day that it happened. I hauled it off to the nearest city to a hydraulic shop and I was told within a couple of weeks I would have an answer. Month goes by, month and a half goes by, no news. So I started calling every week. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna name the shop. They're trying their best now, but I, my experience at the beginning was not very good. I started calling every week for six weeks and I just kept getting the same song and dance. I have to talk to the parts guy. I gotta talk to the tech. It was going nowhere. And finally, over the holidays, I've been very patient with this, but my patience came to an end. I snapped. I called on January 2nd and thankfully, I got to talk to the boss, I told him my whole story and he was overly apologetic and wanted to write this wrong. I really appreciate that. Again, you know what? I got no hard feelings for the company. Bit of a shitty situation for me. It is what it is. However, he tracked down what was going on with this and he told me right away, as soon as it was tore apart, it, it, it was done. He said, it is not worth fixing. And I should have been told that several days after they disassembled it. Two and a half months, I've been patiently waiting to find out that I, I'm, in a, I'm in a bit of a jackpot here. This machine had an Eaton 3922-019 uh, variable displacement piston pump in it, typically used in a hydrostatic system. It also had an auxiliary gear pump on it for all of the loader functions and yeah, unfortunately, I don't know what it is. I bought the machine because it had brand name parts. This pump just doesn't seem to be around anymore, unfortunately. And the only one they could track down by the time they shipped it, put what they needed to do on it, is gonna cost me 22,000, as I said. And as much as I love this machine, I just can't put that much money into it. It's not worth it. So where does that leave me? I'm still searching for another remanufacturer unit out there somewhere. I have several shops on the hunt for me, but I think we're going to have to Frankenstein something and as capable as I am in many areas, you know, bit of a jack of all master of none situation. I don't know much about hydraulics. I know probably enough to be dangerous and with the price of hydraulics, I don't feel like playing guessing games. So I need to be very confident of what I'm gonna do with this. I'm bound and determined to get this machine going. I think we're gonna to have to Frankenstein something and find another brand or other options out there that will suit my needs. If that means making new mounting plates, making new spline adapters, whatever. I really didn't want to do that because I have much better things to be doing with my time, but it sounds like that's where we're gonna have to go. And the hydraulics world seems very interesting. I guess it's because just not every Joe Blow 
plays with hydraulics, it seems like a very closed off uh, discipline, very closed off trade. Um, if you're in it, you know, if you're not, it's very hard to find out. Hydraulics are wildly specific as I'm finding out. There isn't just a few pumps on the shelf. They're pretty much made for their specific purposes. The type code when you're ordering them is like 20 characters and every character is a different feature in the pump. So I'm looking for options, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I know there is a fantastic amount of people out there with more knowledge than myself. I've had many of you comment um, on the loader or on our snowcat build, which is inside the shop right now. We'll take a look at that. And I'm looking for ideas. I'm bound and determined to be scrappy, dig in and go down the road I need to. Right now, I just don't know what road to even start on. Another option I have is this machine does not need to make me money. It is a my personal machine. I use it around the yard. You've seen it. Um, often I'm needing to lift heavy things, unload trailers, plow the driveway. I don't put a lot of hours on. And as much as I do want it to be reliable, it ultimately doesn't have to be. I'm also exploring the avenue of trying to find a knockoff brand name pump out of China. I'm talking to a few hydraulics companies there. We'll see where that leads. Ultimately, there needs to be an economical option for this. If any of you out there know of that pump and other machines it's used in or places that just have, you know, equipment sitting on the shelf from a machine that's been scrapped, let me know. I am in Canada, but you know what? Globally, we can kind of shift stuff around. It's it's not a big deal. I'm really looking for advice. It's just such a clean machine. I really do love it. We've done a bunch of work on this thing. I split the loader in two, changed some of the main pivot bearings in the articulation. I've changed bushings in the quick attach mount. This thing was stout and overbuilt and I am not ready to let it die. It's cold out here. Let's go head in the shop. All right, welcome into the shop if you are new. It is an absolutely disaster right now. I've been working through many projects, some customer things, other future videos. We just got a ton of mini truck parts to go through, fix it up, get the tracks on, that's coming. I actually had Matt Tracks contact me on YouTube, so that was pretty cool. Working on our waste oil water heater, this thing I have very high hopes for. It is gonna be slick. And then in the background, we have that snowcat build. It's all aluminum. It's got a turbo diesel engine, hydrostatic drive. It is wild and it is so close to driving. We have the throttle mounted now. It's in place. I did get some valving for my, you know, neutral park, but it, it's wrong. It's not the valving I need. The orifices are way too small. It's gonna overheat the oil. I have to return them and I have a much cooler option that will also give me like a neutral to roll the vehicle. Um, and it's just gonna take some creativity on my part. I can't wait to show you that parts are on order. I might just have to hook everything up and get this thing driving. So that's coming out too. I appreciate your support. You the viewer often have given me so much ideas, check my blind spots. I really do appreciate it. And honestly, I'm a little choked with the loader. I've been very patient. I'm trying to not let it bother me. It's a want, not a need, but uh, I could use some help. Uh, I need some advice. I need to get pointed in a direction that I can just start running with. Thank you for listening to me. Um, this is turning into a saga and I think I probably even left some parts of it out. I just wanted to get the point across. Thanks so much. I appreciate you all and we'll see you in another video very shortly.